quickly, uh, we're going to we're going to get out of here in just a second. But I wanted to uh, ask Jake Parker, our Secretary and General Counsel, to come forward and just give you folks just a quick just a quick update on some litigation that we're involved in here at Farm Bureau. I think there's about three, four cases, five cases. You know, one of the things, folks, it used to be that we could go to the General Assembly, Senator Sanders, and we could ask the General Assembly to pass a bill. They would pass it, the governor would sign it, and it would go on through. Now the same thing can happen. We can go to General Assembly and ask, pass a bill that's good for farmers, good for rural North Carolina, They'll pass it. The governor will sign it. It'll go on. But what happens then? It goes to court. We get sued. The, bill, the legislation gets sued. And we have a moral obligation almost if we ask these members of the General Assembly to pass it for your benefit that we've got to help defend it. And when I say defend it, you know what that means. It means money. And so for county farm bureaus, my, my call, my plea to you is, if you've got any extra money laying around, we're good with our programs. I mean, our, we always could use, but the program that we need help on now is because these cases are expensive, is through our legal defense fund. If you've got $100, $500, $5,000, whatever you want to contribute, that's the, that's the one program that we need some help on now. Jake, talk to us about those cases. Thank you, President Wooten. Now you get to hear from the lawyer about litigation. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for today, the work you're doing today on Policy Review Day. It's important. It's the backbone. It's the heartbeat of what we do. It's the heartbeat, uh, or it's the, the, what you pass today, what you begin the process of adopting today through our policy development process is what Paul Sherman and Linda Andrews is going to be fighting for in the state legislature and in Congress. But as President Wooten said, what we see happening in North Carolina is when we have victories in the legislature, when Senator Sanderson and Representative Dobson and all their colleagues vote to support agriculture in the legislative building, those fights are being taken from the legislature to the courts. And we, if we're going to uphold the integrity of the policy development process, we've got to fight for those things in court. And so we're doing that. Five cases are pending in the federal and state district courts right now. The first one, as you know, are those farm nuisance lawsuits that started in 2013. We had a group of trial lawyers from out of state come down here and attack our hog industry. They've won five trials in the federal district courts. And we're now on appeal at the U.S. Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond. We need the Fourth Circuit to reverse on those cases and send them back down or get rid of them altogether. And we, North Carolina Farm Bureau, along with American Farm Bureau, the North Carolina <coughs> Port Council, and the, North, uh, the National Port Producers Council, filed a friend of the court brief in the Fourth Circuit, illustrating all the errors that the judge made in those federal district cases. The second case we're dealing with is called, it's the Property Protection Act. You may remember that we talked about that back in 2015. This was a bill the General Assembly adopted that strengthened North Carolina's trespassing law. Opponents of the bill, including uh, animal rights groups, called it ag -gag. That bill is now pending, uh, that, that law is now being challenged in the federal district courts in Greensboro. We asked the court to let us step in and defend the law along with the attorney general, and the court agreed. So we are now fighting for that law in court every single day as we move forward. Then we have the 2017 law, which dealt with uh, issues relating to farm employees. And when that law was passed, the governor signed that one into law, the farm worker unions in the state filed a lawsuit challenging it, also in the middle district of, uh, the, uh, in Greensboro. That law, we were asked to be a part of that case too, and we were denied that opportunity. But we're still going to look for ways to influence that litigation as it moves forward. We also have cases dealing with the animal waste general permits. We think that DEQ entered into a sue and settle agreement there, and that that sue and settle agreement has infected the, uh, the general permit process, and we're challenging that in our administrative courts. But I think the most important one piece of litigation that just came up was filed in June. Some groups that opposed our right to farm law changes in 2017 and 2018 filed a lawsuit saying that those laws violated North Carolina's constitution. I don't have to tell you how important that right to farm law is to each and every one of you. 
It's not just about hogs or chickens. It's about tobacco farmers, anybody that's engaged in agriculture, you're at risk under this law and this lawsuit. So we need you to pull together. We need your help. Like Mr. Wooten said, if your county's given, thank you. We need the help. If your county hasn't given, look in the seat cushions. And if you're part of a commodity organization, we need you talking to your leadership about how we can work together to defend this law. Uh, it's extremely, extremely important. Uh, in the Office of the General Counsel, we're working hard on all these matters every single day. Uh, it's an unprecedented time, but y'all are worth it. The state's agriculture economy is worth it. We're going to defend these bills uh, until the courts say we can't defend them any longer. But thank you for what you do today. If you have any questions, I'll be around. And uh, thanks for all you do. Appreciate you.